Thank you for staying with us in what seems to be an interesting twist in the plot to impeach the Lagos State Governor Akilmi Ambode. Mm. There were protests this morning at Ikeja, the state house, uh, the state capital, actually. Now, the Governor Akilmi Ambode has been accused of gross misconduct, accused of delaying 2019 budget, as well as financing the opposition party, that's the People's Democratic Party, PDP with government money. He will he be impeached or survive till handover in May to That's discuss the these issues and more. We have John Wesley, media consultant and politician, as well as Benga Ayonuga. Thank you very much, Thanks gentlemen, for, for joining, joining us. us. Thank you for having us. Thank now, you. it's about 48 <coughs> hours since the Lagos State House of Assembly on Monday said they were going to start or commence with the impeachment process of um, the current governor of Lagos State, Akin Miyambade. What's your reaction to that? especially when they peg it to gross misconduct here. It's an allegation, and anybody can allege anything. And you'll ask yourself, why is it that there is a speed, that, a, a kind of unfathomable speed, when they want to carry out illegality in this country? The same member, House of Assembly, who will not pass bills that will help their people in their various constituency with speed, are the ones who are alleging all of these things with so much speed. Because we must always be watched. And they think that Lagosians, Nigerians are not intelligent. They think that Nigerians are fools. But Nigerians are not. See, all of these things is just pure politics. They want something. The governor feels that this thing cannot be given without it affecting other cogent infrastructure development that will better the life of Lagosians. And so, what do they do in Nigerian politics? Most of the time, they call dog a bad name just to kill it. So, um, John, now, do you think we're just the opposition of the House here? It's just raising dust where there is no dust, because if there are allegations of using um, funds to support the opposition party, the delay of the 2019 budget, as well as other areas of misconduct. Do you think this is unconnected with the um, leanings or the ties between um, Bola uh, Tinubu and Akiwumi Ambode? Well, it's crystal clear, like the biblical mini mini tickle you fasten, that um, Ambode is being whipped on every side. You see, the truth remains that uh, if you, at any point in time, uh, decide to engage your principal in a battle, there are things that are likely to follow. Either it's settled or it's not settled. And so for me, this is just an but aftermath. But we've seen instances where they shook hands and they, uh, the party seemed fine. Uh, well, it's this, in this situation, it's different. It's different because it was really deep. It's beyond, it's not like the fashion, uh, the fashion last scenario where they just settled and then everything went so calm. But for the Amber Day situation, it was a face-off. It wasn't just a, a big rains on the ground and then you resolve and all of that. This was a face-off that led to a world press conference and all of that. Now, the question I have been asking is, what does the Lagos Assembly want from Amber Day that is not willing to give that has battered the impeachment process. They have not said what they want from him. They should tell us what they want from him that Amber Day is not doing. There must be a reason why the governor is delaying the budget. There must be a reason, and I am sure it cannot be far-fetched. It cannot be far from money. But then, um, we already know that one of the issues raised was the fact that there were already spendings from a budget that hasn't been appropriated. So how can there be a lot? Because um, let me quote what the speaker, Modashiro Basa, said. He yeah. said, uh, we pointed out that the governor ought to lay the budget by the new year before December 31st, and mm -hmm. that wasn't done. Mm -hmm. People already started receiving a lot. We asked him to bring out, out the law that allows them to spend up to 20% of the preceding year's budget in anticipation that, oh, there's no way the budget will be less than this, and that they haven't provided the law. Is so this the we? first time that they are spending that way? Is, well, it is that supposed to be the norm? It's is not something that is peculiar to Nigeria or to Lagos alone. So it is not, it's not something new. 
You know, you spoke earlier on about uh, Ambody and the Godfather shaking hands and smiling everywhere. Have you forgotten that before Shuba Okadibo was impeached, the night before Obasanjo ate in his house? Mm. So all of these things happen in politics, but they should not just see. There is a Yoruba adage that says that when the batter drum is, is sounding too much, it's mm. about to burst. And they will, I, I'm predicting live on air now, that this Lagos Assembly will do this, their foolishness, to a level that it will... Please, and let us not... Oh, sorry, for yes. Yes. sorry for the language. Sorry for the language. But they will do this thing that they are doing to the level that it will backfire on even the innocent one among them. Because a lot of people are watching with keen interest. A lot of people are researching on their own. They know things that are happening in Lagos. See, you might ask for evidence. Some of these evidence are not things that a layman like you and I can easily lay our hands on. Because ever since they signed the Freedom of Information Bill, how many information, critical national information, have you as a broadcaster, have I as a broadcaster, been able to lay our hands on when we request officially for it? The constitutionality of that action, that it shouldn't warrant an impeachment. Do I get you right? Yes. Okay, I want to take you back to what you said. You said that the speed is too fast, that they're actually proceeding with a lot of speed. Now, let me take you back to October 2018. Mm -hmm. This is not the first time there's been a threat of impeachment. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. And what the speaker said at the time is, he said, we're not embarking on an impeachment. Mm -hmm. That was against um, rumors that there was going to be an impeachment. And he said that, except the governor does something that would warrant an impeachment. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that what is going on now, if monies have been spent, if there's misconduct and he's been summoned, shouldn't that be enough? If they have evidence, proper evidence, I know the Lagos. See, Lagos State, the people in governance, the people behind the scene of governance in Lagos State, they control most of the media outlets, both print and uh, otherwise in Lagos. And I know that the first thing they will do is do a media uh, witch hunt first. And if they have such evidence, that's what they would have done. We've seen it severally. <coughs> Many of the people that allegations have been raised against, name them Dino Melai, Saraki, uh, even Onoge, and the rest of them, it started first from media persecution, then to all the other things that followed. If they had We wouldn't want to describe it evidence. as a media persecution you, because you. we are having a conversation here where we are analyzing the issue. So it isn't as if the media is taking any leanings to no, yeah. you, well, It's let, not like I, the media I, is taking any I like leanings. To, I like to quickly talk about uh, October 2018, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. You see, um, that was the first time we heard about impeachment. Now, we heard about impeachment because uh, a battle line was drawn politically. You understand? And uh, for Ambody, he doesn't have his guys on ground in the house. It happens everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. And the guy would not play or dance to the tune of the principal for reasons best known to him. He feels that I'm tired of the way funds run out of Lagos into some places that he would not want to mention. I think that's your perception. That. No, I am telling you, it is not about my perception. I am telling you, if you want us to speak in stronger terms, I am telling you what is wrong right here. But we, do, we don't have proof. But so as much as you do not have please. proof of why they want to impeach this young man, the governor of Lagos State, that same way there are no proof on these things that you are saying that there are no proof. The truth of the matter remains that if Ambody at some point had been loyal to some set of people, we would not at any point in time hear of impeachment.